Hello there YouTube uh, As promised I'm making this video about the Ender 3 V1 uh, with the Sprite Extruder kit uh, installed on it uh, It's mixed feelings about this Sprite Extruder on my Ender 3 V1 because I've been running into some weird issues since I built it uh, I'm going to also make a video about uh, the, the connections that you have to make uh, to, in order to make this printer work at the moment there are some weird things that I can show you which is the flow rate I had to put it on 200 which is maximum uh, why did I do this because it's under extruding um, I'm looking at the print at the moment and it is not so well you can see under extrusion on the first couple layers uh, the full print is actually under extruded um, but I think I know what the issue is about that and that's the mainboard v 4.2.2 that I installed I think it's a faulty one or the extruder um, has to be dialed in I think the voltage of the extruder is a little low um, because I had issues on with this board uh, with another printer uh, so I swapped it to a 4.2.7 uh, but at the moment I just guessed it and I thought it was the right one but it was the faulty one I think that I installed but that's not a big issue I can uh, still uh, change that to the to another 4.2.2 motherboard um, so I can show you the parts that I had to take off which is the, um, the regular extruder you have to take this off along with the cable Hold on. here all the connectors so the parts cooling fan, cable, the hot end fan, the that's the temperature, hot end temperature cable, and let me see, and the hot end uh, cable as well. So it's one bit. You just take this as a complete part of the printer. Uh, from the main board socket just take it off and then I also take this cable off which is the extruder cable because you have to use the extruder of the sprite extruder it's in the cable included and I also take the Z Z stop cable from the main board um, I also had to swap the monochrome uh, LCD, well, monochrome screen to the Ender 3 V2 screen because it didn't work <laughs> uh, with the V4.2.2 uh, mainboard. It didn't work. I never tried this before, so I just took this one out and I swapped it to the uh, mainboard V4.2.2 and. I'm also having issues with um, the size, the print size. Uh, when I'm homing this printer, it just bumps into stuff like it's just, it thinks it can go larger, uh, it, which is strange because it's using the Marlins firmware for the mainboard 4.2.2. So I don't know uh, why, it thinks it's reaching certain points or not reaching a certain points and thinking that the bed is larger so it bumps into the stuff like it thinks uh, it's not on the end but it is and when I'm doing the uh, CR touch bed leveling it's leveling just on the edge here just right on the edge it's strange and in the back it's it's giving some gap uh, when it's um, probing there 
so I'm, that's not a big issue because I, because I think it's the Z end stop here that I have to adjust. That's not a big issue. Uh, the main issue is under extruding at the moment. But as you can see, it is installable and it's working with the uh, V1 Ender 3 gantry. So it is no problem. Uh, the only downside of this uh, printer is the stability of the V1. So you can see it's not the uh the the bigger one for the stability is just the v1 version uh there is another issue is this cable it's too long i think it's like uh 10 to 20 20 centimeters no maybe 10 to 15 centimeters too long uh so i just put it here for the moment it's just hanging around um, maybe I have to feed it through the uh, gantry to the motherboard side but the, I don't like it because the more stuff that's in there the less cooling you will get so as you can hear the printer is pretty loud because I'm using the power supply of the Ender 3 S1 I swapped this uh, to a meanwhile power supply so I could make the printer very quiet um, now this one is making a lot of noise well as you know the sprite extruder is very loud so it's also making noise um, so this one is still work in progress and um, at the moment I am not happy with uh, the print quality it's not finished yet but it will be in I think let me see within 20 minutes or something um, as you might want to know this is how you connect well put your uh, filament uh, on your printer you have to put it on this side of the printer not on the other side so you have a straight line to your sprite extruder um, it's a test it is working well so far so as you can see just the cable comes through here and I don't see any issues uh, or whatsoever uh, when you're printing it I need to change the uh, bed of this printer it's just you can see on the back it's holding with these uh, holders these I had to take this off because it was on the edge and uh, the sprite extruder was bumping into it so I just took it off so it's not very stable at the moment it's just hold, getting hold on the back in two spots um, and another thing that maybe Creality didn't think of is this sprite extruder where you put the CR touch on it's like maybe this much like maybe 10 centimeters or 7 centimeters more in the front so it's coming to the towards the front of the extruder but on the uh, v2 and the v1 if you're installing this it's almost near the gantry so there is a gap of this much maybe that's why the printer thinks that um, there is a enough space to go forward to probe but there isn't i think they have to uh, bring out uh, some software or firmware for this uh, main board to work with the Ender 3 V1 extruder um, otherwise it's just uh, you have to manually change stuff in order to make it work uh, more reliable because at the moment it is working as you can see but it could be much better much 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 better but uh, it's success because it's working uh, it's not a success because it's not printing as good as I would expect uh, Not as good as the S1 in any ways uh, But it is working so as you can see here is the S1 the V1 um, Not many much more to say about the printer itself so you can see 
you know the holder of this is that way there is no filament sensor here um, but all the rest is there I have to take this one off and you can see I already changed the um, bed wheels and also the wheels of the uh, sprite extruder it's all set up the whole thing is working in order um, even the I, I didn't have to change the firmware of the screen or nothing it's just a work, plug and play I even used the old cable apparently they are the same connectors as you can see here the exp3 is the connector you're using but it is um, well it is what it is at the moment um, but there will be uh, update videos about the exchange of the motherboard I will change it I think as soon as I finish this video I will change it to another motherboard and see what I have to what it is giving uh, for the um, uh, well the extrusion because this is not acceptable what is going on anyways guys I hope to you like the video hit the thumbs up if you like the video hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this in the future bye